Sharon Bernardi has only photos and memories of her children. She lost all seven to mitochondrial diseases. This was Sharon with her son Edward three years ago. He was the last to die. He had hyperglycemic in his blood and he had dystonic spasms which used to cry and cry for six hours at a time. They were very painful. It's soul destroying. It's, it's um, for you your, your, as a couple, for your um, family. Edward inherited genetic defects from his mother, something which could now be stopped. Stopped by having one child with three genetic parents. Mitochondria is a cell's battery pack. It works by using an egg from the mother, which contains the faulty mitochondria, and an egg from a female donor. The nucleus in the eggs, which determines our characteristics like how we look, is taken out of the mother's egg, while the donor's nucleus is destroyed. The mother's nucleus is transplanted into the donor egg, which contains a healthy mitochondria. The egg is then fertilized by the father's sperm, creating an embryo with DNA of just 0.2% from the third parent. Once we allow this and we cross this crucial ethical line, which has been put down in the line in the sand by governments and ethicists around the world for the last 20 years, that we simply shouldn't genetically alter human beings. Once we cross that line, we will inevitably, step by step, slowly, slowly, uh, we'll get to that future that everybody wants to avoid, of, uh, of the genetically modified designer babies. But for Sharon, there's little to debate. This is, it's not a designer baby. We're not changing colours of their hair or, or the eyes. We're trying to prevent inherited diseases from happening again and try and give new hope and trying to, to stop babies and children dying at such a young age. It's a big leap for science. But it's also a big leap for society. Stories like Sharon and Edwards will be part of the debate in Parliament later this year.